What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another GTA 5 online video. So guys today I have some very exciting news. Finally some news about GTA and also Red Dead by the way. So over here I have the Newswire article. You guys can see it. Details on new updates to GTA Online and Red Dead Online. Plus GTA 5 coming to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X on November 11th. So we finally have a release date. If you guys want to read the article yourself, by the way, a link will be in the description. I'm just going to go over the most important things. Just all the things that you guys need to know. So first of all, they say an assortment of new updates to GTA Online and Red Dead Online are on the way throughout May and the summer months. So May is already this month, guys. And then they also say some of the most frequently fan requested additions to each game along with a host of new items, probably in the summer months, I think. And then also quality of life updates and much more. Then over here we have a picture with deadline, stunt races, and also survival and under survival, it says all new maps. So new maps for survival, I assume. So then over here, guys, we have a very interesting text about GT Online. So I'm just going to read it real quick. In Los Santos, car culture is back on the streets in a big way with new opportunities for fans of performance and customization upgrades to get together with like-minded gearheads to test out and show off their rides free from the cops and free from troublemakers. So a car meet without cops and without griefers, it already sounds amazing, guys. So the renewed interest is bringing a new underground car meet into the area. Sounds sick in my opinion. Along with new additions to the local racing scene. And the demand for stolen vehicles has never been higher. This last sentence is very interesting. So they talk about it a little bit more over here. Expect high stakes and high action as crews hit the streets to get hold on the latest vehicles on the hot list. Stealing cars. At least I think so. Challenge each other in new race types or take part in a series of multi-part robbery missions where a pricely modified getaway vehicle will be your best weapon. Sounds very cool to me. And then they also say all later this summer, which is kind of annoying, of course, but it sounds cool. Then over here, we have a car in a kind of garage. I don't know what it is, guys, but we're probably going to steal cars, do robberies on car meet, something like that. It already sounds very cool. And I'm guessing that the car guys in GTA are very hyped. And so am I, guys. So then over here, they're also talking about stunt races, deadline and survival. So the picture that we saw over here. And I think this is a smaller update coming in May. And then the car meet thing is the bigger update coming this summer, probably July or August. But basically, they say eight new stunt races, May 27th, shortly thereafter, deadline, seven new maps, I think it is. And also after that, so probably the next week or something like that, they're just going to split it up. Also new maps for survival. So new maps for survival, deadline and new stunt races. Also pretty cool and coming to the game very soon. And like I said, the bigger update with the car meets and stealing the cars and all of that is probably this summer. So then they also talk about Red Dead Online because there is also some new updates for Red Dead. They're talking about small updates coming on May 25th, so next week. Basically, eight new races, including standard races, open races. Open races, it also says uh, races where you don't basically have to follow the checkpoints, but you can just follow your own path. Then also target and open target races, where the aim is to take out target checkpoints with your trusty bow and arrow while on horseback. So all of this on May 25th, next week, the smaller update. And then the bigger update also coming in the summer, probably the same time as the GTA Online update. They talk about a diverse array of new missions across the world for those looking to step into the criminal underworld. Then they also say Guido Martelli is working to create his own criminal network. So whether it's intimidation, unsavory crimes or larger high stake robberies, riders best be willing to do whatever it takes to earn their blood money. So it sounds cool. Maybe some heists, I don't know. Everyone is kind of hoping for heists in Red Dead Online as well, I think. Then the last thing they talk about, very long article, I know, is basically the enhanced and expanded version. So like I said, November 11th is the release date. Over here they say, as an added bonus, this summer's update to GT Online will include special benefits for players to take advantage of in these expanded and enhanced versions when they drop. So the summer update will include some bonuses that you can later on use in the enhanced and expanded version. So sounds very cool in my opinion. Plus, it also say in honor of the upcoming 20th anniversary of the genre defining Grand Theft Auto 3, they also have some surprises, especially for the GTA Online players. I already know that a lot of people are going to understand this like a map expansion or something like that. It could be, of course, it says fun surprises, but I don't know yet, guys. 
And then the last thing they say is that the standalone version of GT Online, so the enhanced and expanded, will be on Xbox Series X and S, and also on PlayStation 5, of course, but only on PlayStation 5, the first three months, it will be free. And then the last thing they say is basically, don't forget to claim your one mil every month if you have PlayStation Plus on PlayStation 4, guys. That's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know a lot of information, but a lot of good information. If you want to stay tuned about everything new in GTA 5, make sure to subscribe to my channel, check out my Discord, and don't forget to like this video, guys. Peace out.